Imagine an armored vehicle that is made up of a common base and carries combat modules. If necessary, you can simply change modules, making a personnel transport vehicle transform into an ambulance vehicle, or an infantry fighting vehicle transform into a mortar vehicle, for example. It would be incredible, wouldn't it? Well, this vehicle exists and is called Boxer. Before we learn more about Boxer, I just ask that you subscribe to the channel. Your subscription is essential for us to continue growing and soon reach the first thousand subscribers. The Boxer is the result of joint development between Germany and the Netherlands, although the German part is the majority. Its development lasted more than 10 years, the time necessary to develop a completely innovative vehicle, and its entry into service took place in 2009. Although it is primarily known as a troop transport vehicle, the Boxer is much more than that, as demonstrated in the introduction to this video. The concept of replaceable modules allows the same platform to be transformed into around 30 different variants, simply by changing the modules, something that can be done in around an hour under field conditions. For this, specialized modules were developed, which can be alternated according to the type of mission. The troop transport version, which is the most common, can carry up to eight equipped soldiers in addition to the crew. As armament for this version, remotely controlled light machine guns are generally available, but this is something that varies from operator to operator. The infantry combat version can be equipped with a variety of turrets with weapons of different calibers, although the most common is 30 mm. Some combine the cannon with anti-tank missiles, and this variant maintains a troop transport capacity, being able to carry up to seven equipped soldiers in addition to the crew. The tank destroyer version uses a combat module equipped with a Cockerill 3105 turret, which has a 105mm cannon capable of firing all types of modern ammunition, and is also compatible with the launch of guided anti-tank missiles through the tube. As secondary armament, this turret can be equipped with light machine guns or a 40mm grenade launcher. Reloading the 105mm cannon is done automatically. This version is very interesting for fire support of mechanized regiments. Another very interesting version is the artillery version. In it, the Boxer was equipped with a module consisting of an automatic loading 155mm cannon capable of maintaining a fire rate of 9 rounds per minute. Inside the tower are loaded 30 rounds of ammunition, which can hit targets more than 50 kilometers away depending on the model. Still for artillery, the mortar version is also available. There are different mortar mounts that are offered to the Boxer, 81 or 120 mm, open or closed configuration, among other options, all according to the needs of each nation. There are also two anti-aircraft defense versions of the Boxer. The first, known as the Sky Ranger 30, is equipped with a 30 mm cannon and a dual short-range missile launcher. This tower already has its own search radars, in the form of small ESA antennas distributed around the tower to guarantee a 360-degree detection capability. The cannon's maximum range is up to 3,000 meters, and the range of the missiles depends on the model chosen. The second is known as the Sky Ranger 35, and carries the classic 35mm anti-aircraft cannon. This setup is a little simpler, without missiles and search radars, relying only on the cannon and the fire control radar. However, the larger caliber of the cannon delivers greater performance, allowing aerial targets to be destroyed between 4 and 5,000 meters away. Versions unrelated to direct combat are available, such as the recovery variant. The recovery module developed for the Boxer is equipped with a winch and crane, both with capacity for up to 20 tons of cargo. There are also engineering, cargo and bridge launch versions. There are, in total, more than 30 different modules for Boxer, many of them already operational and some under development. I won't go into detail about all of them so the video doesn't get too long, but in addition to these already highlighted, which are the main ones, there are also the command and control, ambulance, driver training, artillery rocket and attack drone, 
location of weapons, surveillance, in addition to sub-variations of these models mentioned, developed for different needs. Regardless of the version, survivability is a fundamental factor, and for this the boxer is equipped with modular armor capable of withstanding shots from armor-piercing ammunition with a caliber of 14.5 mm in any aspect, and shots from armor-piercing ammunition up to 30 mm on the front. It is also equipped with an anti-splinter coating, as well as an explosion attenuating seat in the transport and infantry combat versions. However, as it is a modular system, additional armor kits are available capable of increasing protection against mines, light and medium guns and also shrapnel from bombs and artillery projectiles, resulting, of course, in a consequent increase in weight. The Boxer is equipped with a V8 engine with over 800 horsepower, which guarantees a top speed of around 100 km per hour. The range, without refueling, can reach 1000 km, which is well above the average for equivalent vehicles and is a very interesting difference, especially for offensive missions. The Boxer can certainly be classified as the most versatile armored vehicle in the world. Although it is not the only one to adopt the philosophy of the armored family, where different versions use the same base, like the Swedish CV-90 for example, the Boxer is the only one that can switch between different versions at any time thanks to the module system, while that its main competitors must already leave the factory in their respective versions, which remain unchanged throughout the vehicle's useful life. This is very positive from a logistical point of view, as the common base facilitates fleet maintenance, but it is also a great advantage due to its flexibility, as it allows the armored vehicle fleet to be directed to the needs of the moment. A country that has, for example, 100 boxer vehicles, may have 100 troop transport vehicles, or 100 infantry fighting vehicles, or 100 artillery vehicles, or a mix of them, it all depends on the type of mission be executed at the moment. These characteristics explain the fact that the Boxer is a sales success, with more than 600 units already in operation across several countries, and hundreds more contracted to be delivered in the coming years. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.